All right, so this is an update to the dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard has gotten a facelift and there are a handful of different new features that I want to highlight for you. Um, so first of all, you can see the opportunity status, opportunity value, conversion rate, um, things like that. These are, uh, these work on the um, opportunity status. And so if you were to go into the opportunities section and go into any of your pipelines, this will reflect what you have in your various pipelines. And you can change those out here where it says funnel or stage distribution. So I can switch this to demo two uh, or test pipeline, any of these. Um, and, uh, and it will reflect what is in each individual pipeline. Up here, it'll show overall based on all pipelines. You can adjust based on time. So this is just looking at the past month. However, if I wanna go and look at the past year or just the past seven days, I could. And then going down, you can see things like, and, and this uh, is, is the same as it was before, but again, it has a facelift now of, as far as tasks, manual actions. Um, you can look at all tasks that are pending, um, that are completed, or you can look at all, you can look at due dates, um, and you can look at specific users. If you wanted to see a specific user, what tasks they still have left pending, what, which ones they've completed, things like that, you can look at all that here. Same thing with manual actions. This will show what manual actions are left to complete, which ones have been completed. Um, and uh, you can even uh, filter by workflow um, if you wanted to, to see specific manual actions that are part of a specific workflow. And again, you can filter by user as well. Um, you can also look at your lead source report. So in this case, I just have a single um, lead who is worth $300. Um, but, uh, or sorry, three leads worth $100, so it's $300. Uh, I've won those three leads, so you can see the different win rates. Uh, but you'll be able to see the source of where those leads came from, how many open, one lost, abandoned, um, things like that. And finally, if you have this connected to your Google My Business, or specifically your Google Ads account, um, it will pull in your analytics reports for your Google Ads, as well as your Google My Business profile, as well as if you are running Facebook ads, and if you've connected your Facebook ad, account, which that's done in the settings. If you've connected that as well, then it'll show those numbers here. And so that is the update on the dashboard.